And so each stage of development has an unhealthy and a healthy potential within it, built within it. And now sick boy, sick girl. The way they express health or sickness also has a gender uh, element. And females, and this is a this is a statement of fact. This isn't a theory. This is, in fact, one of the most, one of the people who have done some of the most rigorous research on the topic is a, is a female, Carol Gilligan. And what has been demonstrated over and over and over again that both men and women grow through a hierarchical, evolutionary, structure, stage, sequential unfolding of their consciousness. But they do it in somewhat different ways. Females do it with more of an emphasis on communion and males do it with more of an emphasis on agency because those are inherent biological gender tendencies. Men tend towards agency and women tend towards communion. But the stages of development that they go through are the same, they just do it in somewhat different ways. And sick girl, sick boy, exhibiting sick levels of agency will become very domineering, aggressive, overbearing, overpowering, and sick girl will become very victim oriented, very pathologically losing herself in communion, giving away her agency and power, bonding in a way that keeps both parties small instead of keeping both parties grown so she can feel safe. And just as men and women grow through the same stages of development. A man will grow through it in a healthy way, trending towards agency, and a woman will go through it in a healthy way, tre trending towards communion. And both agency and communion can become pathological in and of themselves, and that shows up in the pathology of that stage. And you see a lot of that in postmodernity. And the other interesting thing is the stages themselves seem to trend also towards a masculine and a feminine dynamic. Spiral dynamic calls them warm and cool colors as that. As it goes through those stages, it's going through them, trending where there's where there's a the, the, the agency of the orange modernist stage, right? The corporate capitalistic systems, the male strive drive, all of that was inherent in that stage of development. And as postmodernity started to really see the indignities, it started to push towards a more feminine communion, communal kind of dynamic. But you see a lot of the path, pathology in postmodernity is sick girl right now as a lot of the pathology in modernity is sick boy. Yes, 
Yes, and I'm talking about tendencies and generalities. Under, understand that within all of this, tendencies and generalities. These, it's important to hold the map is not the territory. We have to hold this loosely. But if we take the view from 50,000 feet, all of this is research. 